Yo, 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 what's up, baby? I'm Super Two. Okay, baby, no view. You know, for the left, y'all, I'm doing, man. Okay, I'll probably do a tragic news, man. I live on out of Georgia or to a 14 year old has shot and killed for people, you know. I, I say, you know, I think, you know, high school to we shot people, you know. Um, I don't know, so we shot like, uh, like, uh, like four kids at school to, um, to we injured, like, two, uh, so. Okay, but I said he injured like two ch um children, two um teachers, so he, sh he shot and killed um you know, like two of them. So I feel like you know you know fourteen when he went on the rampage at the school and um how you know the whole school I think it was a lockdown at the time of two of the um uh two fourteen year old boy shot and you know shot to the school and um man I feel like you know the whole Canada does kind of I don't know I feel like the whole school is you know losing people people though you know the gun violence going on how gun violence can we really happen so and um. I read somewhere I uh, told the school it isn't um somewhere it isn't um where it's um uh, called um uh, yeah I think it's called where it's Georgia um uh, area to where the school is in a called the um called called I think Appalachia High School I dealt with a fourteen year old boy had got a gun and he you know shooting around at you know at that school and um uh, how two people you know on uh, on how he killed four people so and um I guess that he you know the um. The fourteen year old is was caught and how he's in jail and how he got you know you know got caught and how he I guess you know you know you know um and so I possibly got raised by authorities I do how uh, how they uh, how they do uh, you know was, was I think uh you know took to jail for the crime so but I do feel like the, why would you would uh, start shooting at the and but I feel like I don't know so uh, I don't know. What the motive was about, you know, I say, oh, I think why he did it, I don't know, man, but I feel like, you know, the motive is about, I don't know, revenge, I don't know, man, but, so, uh, the people who do, I think, school shootings, it be over revenge, man, to where, you know, 14 year old boy got a gun, you know, shooting around at the school, and, um, but I don't know what the cause of the motive was behind the shooting stuff, I don't know, man, but, um, and so, I'm the cliff y'all, you know, you know, what happened, so, make sure you like, comment, and, I say, I subscribe to peace. Amaya, take care in peace, man. Daniel, we just watched a white van go by with two police escort cars. It might be a body inside there. As far as the numbers go, right now it stands at four people killed, nine injured enough to be hospitalized with gunshot wounds, 30 injured totally. Some of those injured fleeing from the shooting. The shooter, a 14-year-old boy, a student here, is alive. He's in custody. He surrendered immediately. We are hearing stories from those who went through this shooting, including a 12th grader who tried to help his master teacher after watching him get shot. Mr. Aswan did have a gunshot wound to the bottom of his chest. Um, he was bleeding out. Uh, some other kids got up and they dragged his body inside and closed the door. After they dragged him in, uh, I started barricading the door with all the things I could find. Well, um, me and some other kids, we lifted up his shirt, see where the gunshot wound was, maybe try and stop it, put some pressure on it. The bleeding would not stop, so we kind of just stopped until the cops got there. He tried to help with the shirt off his back. The sheriff here says despite the tragedy and the trauma that everyone is feeling right now, that love will prevail in this community. Here's the sheriff. I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. My heart hurts for our community, but I want to make it very clear that hate will not prevail in this county. I want that to be very clear and known. Love will prevail over what happened today. I assure you of that. We've been, we've been watching all afternoon as parents and children are reuniting outside of that school. Many of the parents followed the shooting live, texting back and forth with their children. Dana, back to you. Steve Harrigan, thank you. And more updates as we get them. Also